Hello guys and welcome to a new video and in today's video first of all I'll be answering the question which is how to move faster in Kadam Battle Royale and after that I have a high kill gameplay if you're here for the gameplay then feel free to skip to the time shown on the screen so first of all you guys need to keep one thing in mind there are things that makes the players look like they're moving faster but in reality they're not they're moving at normal speed it's just something that tricks your eyes into thinking that they're moving faster and then there are things that does actually make you move faster and i'm gonna explain both of them First of all, let's start with the things that makes you look faster. Starting with the FOV or field of view. It's an option you can find in the settings. And when you increase it, it basically increases your field of view. So you can see more of the area surrounding you. In addition to that, increasing it also makes you look faster because the character goes further away from the screen. And as you can see right here, if I put the lowest FOV against the max FOV, it looks like the character in max FOV is moving faster than the one in low FOV. But again, it's not. They're moving at the exact at same speed. Second of all, we have the character size. Having skinny small characters makes you look faster, but again, you're not. Character size doesn't matter, it doesn't affect the movement speed and it doesn't affect the hitbox. So again, if we put Artery, one of the skinniest characters in one side, and the Marshal, one of the biggest characters on the other side, you will notice that Artery looks like she's moving faster, but again, she's not. They're both moving at exactly the same speed. And finally, we have the gyroscope. It's another option you can find in the settings, which allows you to aim and look around you by tilting your device. And when you watch a gameplay of someone using gyroscope, you will notice that the screen becomes a little bit shaky, which gives the impression that they're moving faster. But in reality, they're not. The gameplay you see right now is from, in my opinion, the best gyroscope player in BR called Fright. And you can notice that it seems like his gameplay is sped up but it's not. He's playing at normal speed just like everyone else. But it looks like it's faster because not only he's using high FOV, but he's also using gyroscope. So those were the three things that makes you look faster. Now let's move on to the three things that does actually make you move faster. This includes all the classes you see on the screen right now. So once you activate these classes, they give you a temporary speed boost and the duration of the boost depends on the class. Second of all, we have the gun type. Different guns have different movement and sprint speed. So if we compare the MSMC against the RPD, for example, you can see that the movement speed is faster with the MSMC. And finally, we have the legendary fast ADS mod. So when you equip this mod on your gun and you open and close the scope, it gives you a temporary speed boost. Those were all the things that I have in mind. I hope I cleared the confusion. And if you have any more things that makes the players look faster or makes them faster for real, then feel free to add them into the comment section. Now let's move on to the gameplay. It was a nice game full of action, kills, and high damage. I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started. Honestly, I was playing casually with randoms, but it ended up being a good game. And I'm gonna be landing at Black Market. Even though I know my chances of surviving this place are lower than me winning the lottery, I still find myself coming back every single time, as long as it's next to the plane path. Enjoy your trip. Dog tags have been successfully. Your teammate will return to the back. Chip terminal is all over it. The safe zone is collapsing. Your teammate is on the side one. Reloading, cover me! You are one big 
This is a new trend in my server where you see a truck pushing towards you and you think it's okay it's just one enemy driving but then all of a sudden you see his entire family riding on the back of the truck and to be honest this tactic works they really surprised me and caught me off guard and I don't really trust random so I backed out to reset my attack and play it smart That was a good black market action to start the game. Luckily, I made it out alive with the entire squad. And now it was time to upgrade. If you're a rewind user, then upgrading your class should be a main priority, even before you take airdrops, especially if you play aggressively. And as I got there, I was welcomed by more enemies who were also trying to upgrade their classes. in the enemy. Hello. 
داشت After that, I got my loadout, and as I was looking for enemies, I heard someone using the zipline. And again, this guy had his entire clan behind him. So I had to play it safe and retreat towards cover. The revive flight will arrive. Get the dog tags and help them return. Reloading, cover me! Down in the last five minutes. Reloading, cover me! Reloading, cover me! Reloading, cover me! The safe zone is collapsing. Air jump is coming. Moving on to the final stages of the game, sadly I lost all my teammates. They just keep pushing blindly. Confidence is good but you need to pair it with a bit of thinking. And this time sadly I couldn't save them. So the plan here was to take a good position and this high ground here was just perfect. Unit incoming. Chip terminal is almost ready. Safe zone is collapsing. Warning, EMP drones have been deployed. Watch out, K9 unit incoming. Changing that cover me. I made a huge mistake here when I used the Fennec and it almost got me killed because I thought he would push me right away and challenging him with the Fennec would be a very bad idea and I tried switching to the AK-117 but it was too late and to make things even worse I cancelled my heal by mistake but in the end it all worked out this little bush right here came in clutch it blocked the vision of the enemy in the back a little bit which made him miss some of his shots and he couldn't see me rewind because of it then I managed to surprise him and melt him down with the Fennec I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did then a like would be highly appreciated thank you for watching and hopefully i'll see you soon with another video peace